Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be using a brand new video editor, which is totally free and it's open source, runs on Mac, Linux, and Windows to do our home projection mapping. And so let's go ahead and get started. Of course, the first thing we're gonna to need to do is download it. Uh, and the way you do that is you open up a web browser and you go to their homepage, which is cadenlive.org. And by the way, the links will be in the description down below. So we're just gonna come over here and we're gonna hit download. It's gonna take us to the download page and then we have our choice. We could do a Windows installable and that's what I did because I'm running under Windows. Uh, there's also Linux installables and a Mac installable right over here too. So once you get it installed and downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on the icon. We're gonna open it up. And by the way, Caden Live uh, uses very few resources compared to a lot of video editors. Uh, and so it's really good to run on kind of lighter weight or older machines. Uh, and so it's a really good tool. Plus being open source, you're always gonna get all the free updates and everything. Uh, it's never gonna change its policies and become you know, commercialized and you have to pay for it all of a sudden or anything like that. Uh, and so here's kind of the main interface you start with. Uh, however, this is just one of the different ones that you can view. And up here in the upper right hand corner, these are little tabs basically, which change the view of Caden Live. So we've got our logging one, that's the one you're looking at right now. Uh, we have an editing one, we have an audio one, an effects one, and a color one. Now I'm gonna click on the effects one because that's what we're gonna be doing all of our editing in. This is going to allow us to uh, add effects to our video clips, and that's primarily what we're gonna be doing when you're doing projection mapping. And so we're just mostly gonna stay right here in this effects tab. So make sure you have that clicked on. And we're just gonna take a very quick tour around here to kind of see generally what's going on. Uh, over here at our left-hand side is where we can pick out our effects here will be where the effects show up and we can change their properties in case we need to edit them. Here's our video viewer. That's where we're gonna like preview the video that we're creating. Down here in the lower left, we're gonna have our project bin. This is where we're gonna add pictures, and sound and music and, and videos in order to put them on the timeline, which is right next door here, in order to create an actual video. And by the way, uh, you notice that it creates these different uh, rows here and they have names like V1 and A1. That's the video one and audio one. That's the associated video and audio together. Here's video two and audio two. Those will be associated together if you bring in a video with audio to it. So, uh, you know, the video will get applied up here and the audio will get applied down here or the video will get applied here and the audio applied there. And you can rearrange these and everything. You can also collapse them and uh, do all sorts of fun stuff. We'll look at that a little bit later. And then finally over here on the uh, lower right, we have our audio mixer, which by the way, you can click that little button and kind of close. Most of the time I leave it closed actually because I'm not really too interested in audio mixing most of the time. Instead, I'm really concerned about getting my, my videos and everything cut together. Uh, but that's all the different elements on the screen. So once we come back, we'll actually start a project and we're actually going to start building up uh, my uh, projection for this year. And so uh, I'll see you just in a moment. All right, now we're ready to get started in our first editing session with Caden Live. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a little part of my intro and my theme this year is all based on murder television which is a takeoff on an old kind of cable uh, channel uh, they used to play music videos you know back in the 80s and 90s uh, they don't do, do that anymore although they're still around but I'm going to use one of their old commercials to kind of kick off this thing off and it is uh, all I can say is it's kind of like delightfully evil uh, they obviously made a nice Halloween commercial back in the day so I'm just going to change a little bit and change it from music television to murder television uh, and so uh, let's go ahead and get started so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my left mouse button here on their old commercial and I'm going to drag that in and I'm going to drop it my project bin and right there it is now it says that hey this video does not match this uh, default uh, 
theme or template that uh, Caden Live has set up, which is typically like your 1920 by 1080 video, uh, do I want to switch it to match this video here, which is that old television style? And I want to say yes to that. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. So now when I export out this video, it won't be 1920 by 1080 or whatever. It's going to be whatever format this video was, which is perfectly fine. Now I just want to go ahead and I want to drag this over to my timeline. And by the way, just notice here that there's a little label there that says V1 and A1. That's for video one and its associated audio. Here's V2 and A2. And by the way, you can add as many of these rows as you like, so you can have all these layers of videos. Now, we're not going to be doing that today, uh, but you can uh, just know that you can in the future add all these different layers of videos because we'll definitely be layering lots of things here in the future. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, left click on my mouse button to grab this video and I'm going to drag it over to my timeline. Just be careful, however, that you don't g grab this uh, little uh, audio icon and drag it in because if you did, it's only going to bring in the audio part. If I hover over this video symbol and drag it in, it's only going to bring in the video and not the audio. However, if you just kind of like hover over this little blue area generally and not the icons and drag it in, it's going to bring in both. Just make sure you let it snap to that left side and you get it started right at the beginning of your audio timeline. Now I'm going to go ahead and scrub through it so you can just kind of briefly see how the this commercial works uh, and just get an idea about what it is. There we go. Okay. Now, um, there's a couple of things I want to do here. First of all, I want to stamp on the word murder right here. Uh, and also, too, we need to kind of fix uh, one thing about this video. And let's kind of see what that is. Uh, to see that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom my timeline in so we can see more detail what's going on. And the way you do that is come down here to the lower right-hand corner. And you've got this little slider that lets you zoom this in and out. So let's kind of go through this video here. Now what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the left and right arrow keys in order to move one frame at a time. So if I hit the left arrow key, it's going to move back. If I hit the right, it's going to move forward. And we're going to come here and then we do one more and then the video goes blank. But you notice that the audio is still there, still playing. So what I want to do, let's I'm going to go back one more frame. What I want to do is I want to freeze frame basically on this video picture right here and extend it for at least as long as the uh, this audio is playing and actually a little bit more because I want to add my own sound effect and the word murder right about here uh, in addition. So what we need to do is we need to cut out this black part so I can uh, replace it with a picture and the, let's go ahead and try to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrow over one more time so I'm at the black part right there. And again, we got our audio still playing, but the screen has gone black. Uh, and I'm going to come up here to the razor tool, or it looks like little scissors. And I'm going to click on that, <clears throat> move over here, make sure I'm on the exact line right there, the exact frame. And I'm going to click my left mouse button, and that's going to cut the video and unfortunately it cuts the audio though. That's the problem. Uh, watch what happens if I go back to my select key. And by the way, you could hit S there to go to select automatically. And if I pick the video part and I hit delete, it deletes the audio too. Well, I don't want that. I want the audio to stay there. I just want that black part of the video to go away. So I'm gonna hold down my control key and hit Z and it's gonna bring it back. That's how you correct problems. It takes you back from what you've done. And I'm gonna do it again because I don't want that cut there anymore. Okay, so now the video is exactly like it was before, before I cut it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to right click on the video and I'm going to go to ungroup clips and select that. And what that's going to do is it's going to separate the audio and video so they're not really together anymore. Okay, so now if I come over here to my little razor tool, select that and come over and hit cut here, it only cuts the video part. And then I can go back to my select tool, select that, and just hit delete. And so now I've got the video, and then I've still got the audio down here playing, which is perfect. However, I've still got audio playing down here, but I want 
this last frame of the video to extend on out through here. So how am I going to do that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot here and I'm going to add it to the project. And the way you do that is you come up here to your video preview window, you right click and you select extract frame to project. And that's going to basically save off a PNG image of, of this frame of the video. And it's also going to add it to the project, uh, which is, uh, you know, I could say save, save it off here as a file and drag it in, but that's just more work. So extract frame to project. There we go. It's going to ask me what I want to call it. That's going to select the uh, default name. That's fine. I've already had one out there, so I'll just overwrite it. And now I have this frame saved off, and it's right over here. I can just grab this guy, and I can drag it out here, and just make sure you stick it right to the end of the old video. Snap. And there it is. So now, if we scrub through this, the picture just stays stuck even after the audio is finished, which is perfect. So now what I want to do is, once their audio is done, uh, I want to add an audio sound effect of my own. And this is a free one I found on the internet. So I'm going to drag it over here to my bin and let go. And then we're going to drag it in and extend the audio down here with this one right here. So here's kind of what it sounds like. All right. Just as this boom hits right here, I want to add the word murder right across uh, the screen right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, the way you add text is you come back over to your project bin, uh, go to an empty area, you're gonna right click and add a title clip, okay? And it's gonna pop up this little window and if you click anywhere inside of here, it's gonna add your text. So I'm gonna click in there and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna type in the word murder right there. And uh, by the way, it's already saved by settings from the last time I was kind of playing around with this. But uh, right here is where you pick the color. Again, I could pick black, something like that. And right here is where you pick the font. So, you know, I could drop that down and change that to whatever I want. However, let me go back to what it was, which was uh, Bloodlust. And let's do bright red on that. Uh, also, too, I do want an outline here in black. Uh, and this is how you would kind of do that because that's going to help it stand out from the rest of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll just make that a two. Uh, by the way, you can click in and change these. Also, too, on the size, if I wanted it bigger, I could, uh, you know, type in 240. Uh, or, of course, you can use these little arrow keys to make it a different size. Let's try 200 and see how that looks. And we're just going to come down here and hit create title. All right, and then we do want to add our title here and we want to put it on top of our video. So we're going to use the second line right here and I'm going to want it to appear just when that music or that, I'm sorry, that boom starts. So I'm just going to drop it right here and let's just kind of scrub through this and then the word murder appears and we get our boom. So we'll go ahead and play that real quick. All right, that's not too bad. Uh, however, I want my murder down here, and I want it kind of turned a little bit, kind of like written across there. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to transform this, is what they call it in Caden Live. So I need to add an effect to this title. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to search my effects, and I'm looking for the one that says Transform. And by the way, this is one we're going to be using all the time. So what you want it to do is when you find an effect that you like, you right click on it and you add it to favorites. For instance, if I want to transpose added to favorites, I would right click on it and click add to favorites. Uh, and so I'm just going to click on transform. And then we're going to drag it down here and I'm going to add it uh, to our murder uh, title. It even says the word transform there now. And if I click in here, here are the properties of that transform effect. So right now it's not doing anything, but transform allows us to do a few different things we really need to do here. One of them is move the word murder around. Uh, there's a couple of ways I could do that. I could, you know, like start typing in digits here uh, and it would like shift things around. But you can also just grab right here where that little center dot is and move it wherever you want. And so that's about right there.
I also want to rotate this. So I'm going to do about a 340 on that, something like that. No, no, that's too many. 340. There we go. That's pretty good. So we'll just kind of line that up roughly. And let's just kind of see how this looks here. All right, not too bad. Okay, so that's a pretty good effect there. It just stomps it on like a, uh, like a stamp there with a big boom. Okay. Now I just want to do a few other things here to kind of clean this up a little bit. Uh, part of it is, is our um, audio kind of, uh, it's kind of weird. It kind of suddenly cuts off. Let's listen to that audio here of the original video uh, just real quickly. Kind of goes during, but then it just ends. So what I wanted to do is I want to fade that out. And Caden Life has a really neat fade function. I'm down here on the audio track right here. And if you notice a little red dot right there, if I hold my left mouse button down and I grab that, and I drag it out here. That's basically going to fade the audio. So that little boring sound at the end is going to get faded out, which is going to make it smoother to transition into the boom. There we go. So that's a little bit smoother. So that's really about it. We've got everything all set up here. Uh, let me zoom back out again. And I just want to make sure that my uh, title, uh, my murder thing, and my title and everything match my sound effects. So I'm just going to extend or contract these down. So notice that it snaps automatically to the link to my sound effect. It's going to do the same thing here, make sure it's snapped. And so the video is going to end with the audio all right there. So that's going to be my intro video. There we go. So now all we need to do is export it. And the way you do that is you just go to Project and Render, which also, by the way, is Control Return. It's going to pop up this box and ask you, hey, how do you want to export it? You've got all of these different formats like audio only, the old TV format, uh, but MPEG-4 H264 slash AAC is a good one. That's a very modern uh, standard. So we're just going to leave it at that. Uh, make sure that you change your directory to whatever you want it to be. And let me uh, get that updated here real quick. And I'm going to call this uh, television test 2 here. I already have a test 1 out there. Uh, and I'm just going to select render to file. And this is going to render, just take just a minute. And if I double click on this guy, I can actually see the final result. And here we go. And now our little uh, murder. And that's it. Okay. So that's going to be kind of the uh, the stinger, the intro to my projection map this year. Uh, so I certainly hope you enjoyed this uh, introduction to Caden Live, uh, and I do encourage you to download it and get playing with it if you haven't uh, started using a video editor yet. This is a good one to work with. And so uh, until next time, I'll talk to you later.